Movement analysis for a soccer throw-in. Purpose. An overhead throw of the soccer ball back into play with as much force and accuracy as possible. Stance phase. The ankle joint. Both the left and right ankles perform dorsiflexion. The muscle used are anterior tibialis, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hollicus longus, peroneus tertius, and it is an isometric contraction. The knee joint. The left knee is flexed. The muscles used are the popliteus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and biceps femoris. The right knee is extended. The muscles used are the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, intermedius, and medialis. The contractions are isometric. The hip joint. The left hip is flexed. The muscles used are the iliopsoas, the rectus femoris, pectineus, sartorius, and tensor fascial latte. The right hip is hyperextended. The muscles used are the gluteus maximus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and the long head of the biceps femoris. These are isometric contractions. The pelvic girdle is in the neutral position during the stance phase. Scapulothoracic joint. Both scapulothoracic joints are protracting. The muscles being used are the pectoralis minor, serratus anterior, and subclavius. Both scapulothoracic joints are also performing depression and downward rotation. The muscles being used are the pectoralis minors. These contractions are isometric. Glenohumeral joint. Both glenohumeral joints perform horizontal adduction. The muscles being used are the anterior delts, coracobrachialis, and pectoralis major. This is an isometric contraction. The elbow joint. Both elbows are flexed. The muscles being used are the biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. This is an isometric contraction. The radio and ulnar joint. Both forearms are pronated. The muscles being used are the pronator teres, pronator quadratus, and brachioradialis. This is an isometric contraction. The wrist and hand joints. Both wrists are flexed. The muscles used are the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and palmaris longus. This is an isometric contraction. All of the fingers are flexed, including the thumb. The muscles used are the flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis, and this is an isometric contraction. Preparatory phase. For the ankle joint, the actions both left and right are ankle dorsiflexion. The muscles being used are anterior tibialis, extensor digitorum longus, extensor hollicus longus, and peroneus tertius. It is used in a concentric contract. For the knee joints, the action of the left knee is flexed. The muscles being used are the popliteus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, biceps femoris, and gastrocnemius. The action of the right knee is extended. The muscles being used are rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. They are both used in an isometric contraction. The hip joint. The action of the left hip is flexed. The muscles being used are the iliopsoas, rectus femoris, pectineus, sartorius, tensor fascial latte. The actions of the right hip is hyperextended. The muscles being used are the gluteus maximus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, biceps femoris long head. Both are used in isometric contraction. For the pelvic girdle joint, the action is the posterior pelvic rotation. Muscles being used are semitendinosus, semimembranosus, biceps femoris, and gluteus maximus. It is a concentric contraction. In the scapular thoracic joint, the actions of the left and right shoulder girdle is retraction. The muscles being used are middle and lower traps and the rhomboids. The action of the left and right shoulder girdle is also elevation. The muscles being used are levator scapulae, rhomboids, and upper traps. The actions for the left and right shoulder girdle is also upward rotation. Muscles being used are middle and lower traps and serratus anterior. It is using a concentric contraction. For the glenohumeral joint, the actions of the left and right glenohumeral joint is flexion. The muscles being used are the anterior deltoids, coracoid brachialis, and the upper pectoralis major. It is a concentric contraction. The action for the left and right joint is also horizontal adduction. The muscles being used are anterior deltoids, coracoid brachialis, and your pectoralis major. It is a isometric contraction. For the elbow joint, 
The actions for both the left and right elbows are flexed. The muscles being used are biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis. It is a concentric contraction. For the radial ulnar joint, both left and right forearms are pronated. The muscles being used are pronator teres, pronator quadratus, and brachioradialis. It is an isometric contraction. For the wrist and hand joint, the action of the left and right wrist is flexed. The muscles being used are flexor carpe radialis, flexor carpe ulnaris, and palmus longus. It is a concentric contraction. The actions for the left and right fingers are flexed. The muscles being used are flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis. It is a isometric contraction. The action is also radial deviation. The muscles being used are the FCR, the APL, the ECRL, and the ECRB. It is a concentric contraction. Movement phase. Actions of the ankle joint are right ankle plantar flexion. The muscles used are gastrocnemius, soleus, tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, flexor haticus longus, peroneus longus, and brevis. The contraction type is concentric. The action of the left ankle joint is dorsiflexion. The muscles used are anterior tibialis, extensor digitorum longus, extensor holicus longus, and peroneus tertius. The, constri the contraction type is concentric. Knee joint. The action of the left knee joint is slight flexion. The muscles used are the popliteus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, biceps femoris, and gastrocnemius. The action of the right knee is extension. The muscles used are rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, and the contraction type is concentric. Hip joint. The action of the left hip is flexion. The muscles used are the iliopsoas, rectus femoris, pectine pectineus, sartorius, and the tensor fascia latte. The action of the right hip is hyperextension. The muscles used are the gluteus maximus, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and the biceps femoris. The contraction type is isometric. Pelvic girdle. Pelvic girdle moves anteriorly because the trunk moves anteriorly. The muscles acting are the iliopsoas, rectus abdominis, internal oblique abdominis. The contraction type is concentric. Scapulothoracic joint. Actions of both the left and right SG joints protract. The muscles used are the pectoralis minor and serratus anterior. Actions of both left and right SG perform downward rotation. Muscles used are the rhomboids and pectoralis minor. Contraction type is concentric. Glenohumeral joint. The actions of both left and right GH joints extend. The muscles used are the teres major, latissimus dorsi, lower pectoralis major, and the contraction type is concentric. Actions of both left and right GH joints horizontally adduct. Muscles used are the anterior delts, coracobrachialis, and the pectoralis major. The contraction type is isometric. Elbow joint. Actions of both left and right elbows extend. The muscles used are the triceps brachii and anconius. The contraction type is concentric. Radial ulnar joint. The actions of both left and right forearms pronate. The muscles used are the pronator teres, pronator quadratus, and the brachial radialis. The contraction type is concentric. Wrist and hand joints. The actions for both left and right wrists is flexion. The muscles used are the flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and the palmaris longus. The contraction type is concentric. The actions for both the left and right fingers is flexion. The muscles used are the flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis, and the contraction type is isometric. The actions are, wait, what are these actions? Both the left and the right wrist perform ulnar deviation. The muscles used are the FCU and the ECU. The contraction type is concentric. The breakdown of the soccer throw-in. The ankle joint performs left and right dorsiflexion and slight right plantar flexion that occurred in the sagittal plane and frontal axis.
the knee joint performs left leg flexion in the sagittal plane and frontal axis. The hip joint performs left leg flexion in the sagittal plane and frontal axis. The pelvic girdle performs posterior pelvic rotation within the sagittal plane and frontal axis. The scapulothoracic joint performs both left and right extension of the arm, which will then result in scapular retraction, protraction, depression, elevation, upward and downward rotation, which will all occur within the sagittal plane and frontal axis. The glenohumeral joint performs horizontal adduction, flexion, and extension, which will occur within the frontal plane and sagittal axis. The elbow, both right and left elbows, will be flexed and extend, which will occur within the sagittal plane and frontal axis. The radial honor joint, both left and right forearms, will perform pronation, which will occur within the transverse plane and vertical axis. The wrist and hand, both the left and right wrists and fingers will perform flexion, which will occur within the sagittal plane and frontal axis. Summary of the soccer throw-in. A soccer throw-in is a skill used to restart a play in soccer. A team will receive a throw-in if the opposing team's player was the last one to touch the ball before it goes out of boundaries. Soccer throw-ins can be extremely important to a team's advantage if one teammate can throw with lots of power and force.